Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, AKA Educator Alexander, and I wanna give you 10 top tips for attending a virtual conference. So we know that most of our conferences right now are virtual. Bigger conferences such as ISTE, smaller conferences, they're all online and in virtual spaces. So our tips for navigating are a little bit different. I do have a website that gives you a bunch of tips, even a flip grid with tips from other people about navigating conferences. But we need to update that just a little bit for the virtual space. So let's get started. Tip number one, have a top 10 list. So your top 10 list is different from your regular notes that you're going to take when you're in the sessions. The top 10 list is what has you on fire. Okay, what is that thing that you do not want to forget? You want to do this tomorrow. That goes on your top 10 list. Because you know when we have our notes, either we never look at them again, or we dig and dig for that one golden nugget, right, that we really want to use. So since that's the case, put those nuggets on the top 10 list. And that's what is going to be your first go-to after the session or after the conference. Two. Come and go as you please, but be kind. What I mean by that is if you go into a session and the session is just not for you, right? Not everything's gonna make us on fire. So if that's the case, leave, go to a different session. But when you get in that session, be kind. Make sure you're muted and don't start immediately asking for links. Like, where is she? Where's the link? Well, you're the one that walked in there late, virtually. So wait till the end to ask for the link. Enjoy what you can enjoy and then wait before you just suddenly start demanding stuff. You wouldn't do that in a face-to-face -face session. You wouldn't walk in and just start screaming for you know her email address. So keep that in mind. Number three, plan, plan, and plan some more. There are so many amazing sessions happening at the same time at our conferences. So you wanna make sure that you're going ahead of time. You're looking at the app, you're looking at the website and you're scheduling out your day. So you don't miss those key sessions that you just really wanna go to. But I will say when you're planning, also plan breaks. Plan for some time to take a nap, okay? So make sure that you're also practicing self-care while you're doing that. Number four. Have a system for grabbing links. There's going to be so many links flying at you, links that the presenter is giving you for the presentation, links for evaluations, links for contact information. Have some type of way to organize those links. There are many amazing tools, I have some in my mind right now, that you can use to curate all of the links that you get. So, have a system for that so it's super easy for you to grab those links out of the chat or wherever they put them and hold on to them. Now, some of your conferences will have an app or a website with all the links on it, but it's still good to have your own system as well. Number five, do not forget the exhibitors. There's vendors and exhibitors just there waiting for you to talk to them. Sometimes I learn a lot from just going through the exhibitor hall and actually talking and you know looking at products and asking what's new with this. A lot of your vendors may be giving stuff away. So do not sleep on the vendors, the exhibitor hall. Go and check it out. Put that in your schedule. Number six camera or no camera if you're going to be on camera be engaged if you're going to be in camera that's because you're paying attention you're giving head nods you're letting the presenter know that you're with them if you're going to be eating chicken please turn your camera off nobody wants to see that okay if you're going to be checking emails on the side the whole time turn your camera off if you're on camera you need to be a participant and be engaged number seven Take your time and hurry up. So if you have those sessions that you know is going to have 1 million people in it and they may only have 500 seats, you need to get there early. Same thing that you do in person when you're waiting in that long line. Same thing when you're going on whatever platform your conference is using. You want to get there early to make sure that you get your spot, but also have fun. So don't be too rigid because you may get into a conversation with a vendor. You may be a little late. So 
plan as much as you can. Take your time, have fun, but also hurry up and get there if you need to get there. Number eight, don't sleep on the recorded content. A lot of your conferences have recorded sessions. Don't ignore those. Those are some really awesome sessions. So whether they be recorded just for the day or whether it's recorded for you know a certain amount of time after the conference, use it while you have it. Number nine, connect to other participants outside of the sessions. Again, some of my golden learning opportunities has been talking to someone else in the hallway. Do the same thing virtually. Connect with other people. You may want to set up another Zoom for y'all to go and talk amongst yourselves, right? So start making those connections. You still want to build your PLN during these virtual conferences. And last but not least, use the filters you're given. If you are a math teacher and you know doggone well you're looking for math content, well, when you're going to the schedule, click map and use that filter to see, well, what what do they have for you? What presenters have specifically said, I have math content. So use those filters. They can help you actually find little golden sessions that you may not even know exist and you may not find in the big bloated list. Use your filters wisely. Okay, you have 10 things to think about to help you with your virtual conference. Good luck, have fun, and you're going to have a really, really good time.